Welcome to episode 5 of Cosmos Cosmos. In this episode, I'm going to be reviewing and deconstructing the last episode, telling you what I thought when I watched the footage back. In case you didn't see the last episode, I filmed myself on camera for the very first time, which is a deeply weird experience when you're an introvert with a movement disorder who's always shied away from attention of any kind. I do give myself kudos for sitting up here and facing my fears, but I'm going to start off by pointing out the things that I found jarring um, about my first nervous appearance on camera. There are five things that jumped out at me. The first thing that I noticed was, oh no, I'm not in the middle of the frame. I'm clearly left of center. If you take a look, that wasn't an artistic choice. I simply goofed up. I'm filming this on a Panasonic GH5 camera with a full bore hexachrome mounted spittoon housing. The camera's maybe three or four meters away from me. The flip out screen is mostly hidden by an HDMI cable that's coming out the side of the camera and I'm short sighted so the flip out screen is totally useless. I can't see a thing on it. But now that I'm aware of this problem I think I can fix it by simply taking more care when positioning this chair before I shoot a vlog. Hopefully this time around I'm more in the centre of the frame and if I'm not then screw it because life's too short to worry about everything. The second thing I noticed was the sound. There was a noticeable echo when I was speaking. Take a listen. It's not surprising in hindsight, I was using a shotgun microphone on a tripod that was about two meters away from me. This desk reflects sound like a mirror reflects light, and the walls don't have any acoustic treatment on them, so this is a pretty echoey space. What I've done to try and remedy this problem is to try a different setup. I'm using a different type of microphone that's positioned much closer to me on a boom arm um, and I've also ordered a sound blanket that I can lay over this desk to prevent my voice from bouncing off it so aggressively. Um, but until the blanket arrives, I'm just using a towel for now as a temporary measure to try and take the edge off the echoiness. The third thing that I noticed was the camera's autofocus because it was shifting in and out um, of focus. Take a look. This is a more tricky problem to fix. The simple solution would be to manually focus the camera. But the camera is about four meters away and I can't be sitting in this chair and manually focusing the camera at the same time. And if I do manage to get the focal distance right, what happens if I lean forwards or backwards? How badly will that mess up the focus? The only way to know is to try it out and see. So this time I am using the camera on manual focus. I stuck a basket here with a drawing of a face on it and I focused on that. Um, and hopefully that's done the trick. I will now lean forwards to see if I go super blurry. I am leaning forwards, forwards, I am leaning. This is about as far forward as I'm likely to go. So I've probably gone out of focus a bit. And if I lean back, <sighs> Maybe I've gone out of focus. Probably. Who knows? Or maybe I've come in focus. I've no idea because I can't see the screen from here. The fourth thing I thought when I watched the footage back was how loud it sounded when I touched the desk with my hands. Take a listen. The desk sounds were louder than my voice, which made them a real distraction, but the sound blanket that I ordered should solve this problem as well as the echoey voice problem. So hopefully the noisy desk issues should soon be a thing of the past. The fifth thing that I noticed that was jarring, or at least distracting, um, was me spinning around on the chair a bit too much. Take a look. I had then, as I have now, um, nervous energy going on, and my body was trying to express that energy any way it could and spinning around on the chair and fidgeting with my hands on the table was how it came out. 
My solution to this problem is to be a bit more mindful of just how much I'm fidgeting uh, while on camera. And also to be patient because I expect with time and practice I'll gradually calm down as I get more comfortable recording these vlogs. So the spinny chair problem will hopefully lessen over time. That was my critical review of my first real vlogging episode. I'm hoping that some of these issues will have been resolved already and that others will soon be resolved. I expect that in a few weeks time I'll have fine-tuned the technical setup and gotten everything as good as it can be in terms of audio-visual quality with the um, equipment that I've got at the moment which will be a great milestone to have reached because from that point forward I can focus more on the content and my ability to present the content um, and I can completely forget about the hardware that's set up around me. Um, so that's it for this episode. Uh, until the next time. Thanks for joining me and see you again soon.